Your heart is working overtime right now. Every single beat pushes blood through miles of arteries that might be narrowing as you sit here. And here is what keeps me up at night. By the time most people feel chest tightness or shortness of breath, their arteries are already 70% blocked. But what if I told you there is a simple drink backed by actual human research published in peer-reviewed medical journals that helped people reverse arterial plaque by 30% in just one year? Not slow it down, reverse it. I am not talking about some trendy detox or superfood scam. I am talking about real clinical trials with real patients who had real blockages in their arteries, patients who drank a specific beverage daily and watched their doctor's jaws drop when follow-up scans showed their arteries had actually gotten cleaner. Here is the reality. The medical system is built to manage disease, not prevent it. Your doctor has about 15 minutes with you, a computer screen full of notes, and pharmaceutical representatives waiting in the lobby. They are trained to prescribe statins, recommend low-fat diets, and schedule follow-ups. They are not trained to tell you about the pomegranate juice study from 2004 that showed results most medications can only dream of achieving. I have spent years reading studies from institutions like Harvard Medical School and Brigham and Women's Hospital. What I have discovered is this. Your body has an incredible ability to heal itself when you give it the right tools. And today, I am sharing five drinks that scientific research shows can support your arteries, reduce inflammation, and help your cardiovascular system function properly. These are not magic potions. They are beverages backed by human studies, real people, real results published in respected journals. And the best part, you can make every single one of them in your kitchen. If you are over 40, if you have been told your cholesterol is creeping up, if heart disease runs in your family, or if you just wanna protect your cardiovascular health before problems start, pay close attention. What you are about to learn could add years to your life. Before we dive in, you need to understand something critical. It is not cholesterol alone that clogs your arteries. It is inflammation, it is oxidative stress, it is your body's inability to repair damage because it does not have the nutrients it needs. Think of your arteries like pipes in your house. When they are clean and flexible, everything flows smoothly. But when calcium deposits, oxidized cholesterol particles, and inflammatory compounds build up on the walls, those pipes get stiff and narrow. Blood flow decreases. Your heart pumps harder. Your brain gets less oxygen. Your muscles tire faster. That is atherosclerosis, the hardening and narrowing of your arteries responsible for heart attacks and strokes. And it is happening to millions of people right now who have no idea their arteries are slowly closing. But here is where it gets interesting. Research from places like the Technion Israel Institute of Technology, Harvard the Chan School of Public Health, and Brigham Women's Hospital has shown that certain plant compounds can actually help your body reverse this process. These compounds called polyphenols and flavanols have been proven in clinical trials to reduce oxidative stress, lower inflammatory markers like C-reactive protein and interleukin-6, and boost something called nitric oxide. And nitric oxide is the key. Nitric oxide is a molecule your body produces that tells your blood vessels to relax and open up. More nitric oxide means better blood flow, lower blood pressure, and healthier, more flexible arteries. As we age, our bodies produce less nitric oxide. That is partly why arterial problems become more common after 50. But when you consume foods rich in specific polyphenols, you can boost your nitric oxide production significantly. The research proves it, and the effects are not subtle. We are talking about measurable improvements in blood pressure, arterial flexibility, and inflammatory markers within weeks. The five drinks I'm about to share have all been studied in human clinical trials. I am not going to quote mouse studies or test tube experiments. Every claim I make is backed by research on actual people with real cardiovascular concerns. And I will tell you exactly where these studies were published so you can verify them yourself. So let us get started with the most powerful one. First drink number one, pomegranate elixir. The first drink might surprise you, pomegranate juice, but not the sugary bottled version you find next to soda at the grocery store. I am talking about real 100% unsweetened pomegranate juice. In 2004, researchers at Rambam Medical Center in Israel published a groundbreaking study in the journal Clinical Nutrition. They followed 19 patients with severe carotid artery stenosis. 
That means their neck arteries were 70 to 90% blocked. These people were at serious risk for stroke. 10 patients drank just 50 milliliters of pomegranate juice every day for one year. That is less than two ounces. The other nine served as the control group. The results were remarkable. After one year, the thickness of the arterial walls in the pomegranate group decreased by up to 30%. Meanwhile, the control group's arterial thickness increased by 9%. Their systolic blood pressure dropped by 21%, and oxidized low-density lipoprotein cholesterol, the dangerous kind that actually damages your arteries, decreased by a stunning 90%. Let me repeat that. 90% reduction in oxidized low-density lipoprotein. The researchers identified the active compounds as punicolagens, powerful antioxidants found in pomegranate that reduce oxidative stress and increase nitric oxide levels. When your arteries have more nitric oxide, they relax, blood flows easier, and plaque has a harder time sticking to the walls. Now, I am going to make this even better by combining pomegranate juice with other artery-supporting ingredients. Here is exactly how to make it. Four to six ounces of 100% unsweetened pomegranate juice, organic if possible, eight ounces of filtered water, one teaspoon of raw apple cider vinegar with the mother juice from half a fresh lemon, a small pinch of sea salt. Mix everything together and drink it 30 minutes before your first meal. Why apple cider vinegar? Because studies show it improves insulin sensitivity and lowers post-meal blood sugar spikes by 20 to 34%. Lower insulin means less inflammation. Less inflammation means slower plaque growth. Why lemon? It is rich in vitamin C and flavonoids that support vascular health. Why sea salt? It helps maintain electrolyte balance and supports nitric oxide production. This is your arterial repair drink. Next drink number two, cacao cardiotonic. The second drink is my personal favorite because it tastes like dessert but works like medicine. Raw cacao. Most people think chocolate is unhealthy, and if you are eating milk chocolate candy bars loaded with sugar, they are right, but raw, organic, unsweetened cacao powder is one of the most clinically proven artery healing foods on earth. Cacao is loaded with compounds called flavanols that have been extensively studied for cardiovascular health. In 2005, researchers published a study in the Journal of the American College of Cardiology showing that people who consumed high flavanol cocoa experienced significant improvements in endothelial function. That is how well your artery walls work as measured by flow-mediated dilation. Flow-mediated dilation is basically a test that shows how flexible and responsive your arteries are. Better scores mean healthier arteries, and the improvement happened within just two hours of consuming flavanol-rich cocoa. But here is the big one. In 2022, researchers from Harvard Medical School and Brigham and Women's Hospital published results from the COSMOS trial, one of the largest dietary intervention studies ever conducted. They followed 21,442 adults over age 60 for an average of 3.6 years. Participants who took 500 milligrams of cocoa flavanols daily saw a 27% reduction in cardiovascular death compared to the placebo group. When they looked at people who actually took their supplements consistently, the benefits were even stronger. Multiple other studies have shown that cacao flavanols boost nitric oxide production, reduce arterial stiffness, lower blood pressure, improve insulin sensitivity, and decrease inflammatory markers. Here is how to make your cacao cardiotonic. One to two teaspoons of organic raw cacao powder, eight to 10 ounces of warm water, unsweetened coconut milk, or unsweetened almond milk, one quarter teaspoon of Ceylon cinnamon, a pinch of sea salt, optional half a teaspoon of raw honey if you need sweetness, one teaspoon of medium chain, triglyceride oil or coconut oil for blood vessel support. Mix or blend everything together and drink it either as a mid-morning boost or as a healthy evening dessert. The cacao flavanol hits your bloodstream within 30 minutes. Nitric oxide production increases, your arteries open up, blood flow improves, and inflammation drops. This is not wellness talk. This is what the research shows happens in your body. Next drink, number three, coffee metabolic boost. Now let us talk about coffee. If you are a coffee drinker, you are going to love this. Here is what the research shows. Coffee consumption is associated with significant health benefits for metabolic health and disease prevention. A comprehensive meta-analysis published in Diabetes Care in 2014 
analyzed 28 prospective studies with over 1,100,000 participants and 45,000 cases of type 2 diabetes. The findings? People who drank six cups of coffee daily had a 33% lower risk of developing type 2 diabetes compared to non-coffee drinkers. Each additional cup reduced diabetes risk by about 7 to 9%. Why does this matter for your arteries? Because diabetes and insulin resistance are major drivers of cardiovascular disease. When you improve insulin sensitivity, you reduce inflammation throughout your entire body, including your arteries. Coffee is rich in polyphenols like chlorogenic acid that have antioxidant and anti-inflammatory properties. However, here's what most people do not know. The quality of your coffee matters enormously. Mass market coffee is often contaminated with mold and pesticides. You want organic, high quality beans. Here is my enhanced coffee recipe. 10 to 12 ounces of high quality organic coffee, one tablespoon of extra virgin olive oil, one tablespoon of grass fed butter or ghee, a pinch of sea salt. Why olive oil? High polyphenol extra virgin olive oil has been shown in studies to improve vascular function and reduce visceral fat. Why grass fed butter? It contains beauty rate, a short chain fatty acid that lowers inflammation and helps your body produce anti-inflammatory compounds called ketones. Blend everything together until frothy and drink it in the morning, ideally 60 to 90 minutes after waking up. Do not drink coffee afternoon because the caffeine can interfere with sleep. This combination provides sustained energy, supports metabolic health, and gives your body the fats it needs to absorb fat-soluble nutrients. It is far better than sugary cereal or bagels that spike your blood sugar and promote inflammation. Next drink number four, apple cider vinegar metabolic shot. This one is simple but powerful. Apple cider vinegar has been extensively studied for its effects on blood sugar and insulin sensitivity. A 2018 study showed that people with insulin resistance who consumed apple cider vinegar before meals experienced significant reductions in fasting glucose and hemoglobin A1C, a measure of your average blood sugar over three months. When you lower insulin and reduce inflammation, you slow plaque growth in your arteries. Here's the recipe. One to two tablespoons of raw apple cider vinegar with the mother, eight ounces of water, half a teaspoon of salon cinnamon, fresh lemon juice, Mix and drink this 15 to 20 minutes before your highest carbohydrate meal of the day. It helps blunt the blood sugar spike and keeps insulin levels more stable. Next drink number five, turmeric golden latte. Turmeric contains curcumin, one of the most potent natural anti-inflammatory compounds ever studied. Multiple randomized controlled trials have shown that curcumin lowers inflammatory markers like C-reactive protein as effectively as some anti-inflammatory drugs without the side effects. Here is how to make it. 10 ounces of warm, unsweetened coconut milk or almond milk, one and one half teaspoons of high quality turmeric powder, a pinch of black pepper, which increases curcumin absorption by up to 2000%, one and one half teaspoons of ginger powder, one and one half teaspoons of cinnamon, one teaspoon of grass-fed butter or coconut oil. Blend everything together and drink it in the evening after your last meal. This is a calming anti-inflammatory nighttime drink that helps reduce cortisol and supports arterial health while you sleep. Black pepper is critical. Without it, your body does not absorb curcumin well. Together, turmeric and black pepper create a powerful anti-inflammatory combination that reduces oxidative stress in your arteries. Here's how I recommend using these drinks. Do not try to drink all five every single day. That is overwhelming. Instead, pick one drink and commit to having it every day for a week. The next week, rotate to a different one. This keeps things simple and sustainable. If you are pre-diabetic or diabetic, start with the enhanced coffee, drink number three, or the apple cider vinegar shot, drink number four. These are the most blood sugar friendly options. If you are trying to stay in ketosis or following a very low carbohydrate diet, skip the pomegranate drink since it contains natural sugars. Stick with the others. Can you combine two drinks in one day? Absolutely. Just do not do more than two. For example, have the enhanced coffee for breakfast and the cacao drink in the evening. You can add natural sweeteners like stevia, monk fruit, or erythritol if you need to. Just avoid regular sugar, aspartame, and sucralose. How long until you see results? If you get blood work done now and again in 30 days, you should see measurable changes in markers like C-reactive protein, triglycerides, 
fasting insulin, hemoglobin A1C, and A polypoprotein B. You will also likely feel the difference. More energy, better sleep, clearer thinking. Here's the truth. Pharmaceutical companies cannot patent pomegranate juice or raw cacao. There is no profit in telling you to drink apple cider vinegar before meals. That is why your doctor probably will not bring this up, but you do not need permission to take care of your body. If this information helped you, type yes in the comments below. And if you know someone who needs to hear this, please share this video with them. You might just save their life. Stay healthy, stay informed, and remember, your body is always listening. Now before we wrap up, there is one final truth that most people never hear. Your arteries are not destined to harden as you age. That idea has been repeated so many times that it has become accepted as fact, but the research says otherwise. Your arteries respond to what you put into your body every single day. They respond to stress, they respond to inflammation, and they respond to the nutrients you provide. The choices you make can either push you toward disease or pull you back toward healing. Every study I have shared, every data point, every example of arterial improvement comes from real human beings who made simple, consistent changes and experienced measurable results. This is not theory. This is not speculation. This is documented reality. Your cardiovascular system is dynamic. It is always adapting. It is always repairing. And when you give it the right support, it does something extraordinary. It begins to restore itself. What you have learned today is more than information. It is empowerment. Most people go through life believing that heart disease is something that just happens to them, something they cannot see, cannot feel, and cannot influence. But now you know the truth. The power to support the health of your arteries does not live in a prescription bottle or a five-minute doctor appointment. It lives in your daily habits, your daily nourishment, and your willingness to pay attention before problems arise. So as you move forward, remember this. Your heart beats over 100,000 times per day. It never rests. It never pauses. It never asks for anything in return. It simply keeps you alive. The least you can do is give it what it needs, support it, protect it, honor it. You have one heart, one circulatory system, one life, and every positive choice you make echoes through your entire body. When people understand this, everything changes. They begin to see each day as an opportunity to strengthen their cardiovascular future instead of waiting for a crisis to force them into action. That is the shift I hope you take from this message. A shift from fear to awareness, from passivity to ownership, from uncertainty to confidence in your body's ability to heal. If you carry anything with you from this moment, let it be this. Your health is not out of your hands. Your arteries are not beyond repair. Your future is not predetermined. You have more influence over your cardiovascular destiny than you have ever been told. And the sooner you begin supporting your body, the sooner your body will respond in return. Stay committed to learning, stay committed to paying attention, and above all, stay committed to the health of the heart that keeps you alive every single second of your life.